Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Utah Utes and the Arizona Wildcats. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, it looks like a David versus Goliath, baby, but you never know. Could be upset city if they protect the basketball. You know what? I think it's essentially control the tempo of the game. The Wildcats are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for them tonight, Dick? Man, a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First of all, don't let the other team dictate the tempo and the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Second of all, don't let their big man become a factor offensively. Keep him off the block, push him away from the low box, and force him to shoot jump shots. Third, make sure you eat up the boards. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action, see what's in store for us. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There they come with a double team to stop it. The small forward with the ball. Goes for the deep one. He buries it. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. He may be in trouble here. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. He fakes the shot. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. He goes for three. Strouser was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. There he is, strips the ball loose. Hey, the crowd loved that one, Brad. But did you see the mascot? He's so excited. I think he may pull something up there jumping around like that. He's going to get hurt. Hey, don't hurt yourself, big fella. They need you to cheer. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. He looks for three. Arizona are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Great anticipation defensively. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> High post flasher is open. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. For the bucket, and off the mark. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick. He rejects it. Perfectly executed. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Great play to take that to the basket. The shooting guard takes the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Trying to get.
get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For two, perfectly executed. Watch here. On the outside, number 50 takes the feed. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Knapp is eager and excited to compete. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Arizona are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Turns it over. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Davis pulls down the offensive board. Scorches the net. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Now trying to feed the low block for the bucket. Perfectly executed. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Trying to feed the low block. The frustration right there. The point guard gets the ball. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's an 11 nothing run. To the live action we go. Both teams looking to get things going here. Moving it around the perimeter. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hop. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Way out on top. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Rohop draws the foul. Nice move. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the line for the first time. Count it. They score 12 in a row. That's a 13 zip run. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tempo game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Drains it. They go into the low block for two. In and out. The center gets the pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man. There's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Down inside. There's the trap. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Well, 
Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Here's a double team. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. He intercepts it. Sinks the shot. That's an eight-zip run. perimeter didn't give it to him down low going the blocks it fast break possibility coming looking for contact basket falls despite the contact Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. That's been moves not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They work it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Stolen. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. He tries the three ball. This one looks to be headed for a blowout. Someone better step up in a hurry, baby. They work the perimeter. On the inside, number 50. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Misses the free one. Dump it inside. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Tries for two. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picks off the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. And in and out. Looking for a good shot. From right in the circle, the Utes have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Jump hook from the low block and off the mark. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Both teams are looking to get something going here. For two, perfectly executed.
There's a double team waiting there. This one looks to be headed into blowout territory. You can't let a team just control the momentum like this, Brad. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the coaching staff told me before the game that all this pregame hype wouldn't be a factor, and it looks as if they were right. All right, thanks, Aaron. Looking for the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come to enjoy themselves at these games. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. On the dribble, gives it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Look at that spacing. There's the pick. There's the roll. Blocks the shot. Perfectly executed. On the outside, defense giving some room. Puts it up, looking for contact. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Double team now, bad angle. For the bucket, Arizona are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Here's the trap. And he'll kick it back outside. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Pushes it up. Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Working it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. Picked out of the air. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. 
It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Up and inside. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Tries for two. They still don't score. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Intercepted. Moving it around the perimeter. Let's it fly. It's good. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Steals a pass. Gave it up. And one too many dribbles and a steal. They get it out into transition. He shoots from the top of the circle, rips down the rebound. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. On the outside. Here's a double team. Freeman, pump fakes. Too much. That's a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul and all. Oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Takes away the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He gets the board. in front to take it away and a momentary look from three-point land Brad if they were smart they'd go two for one nice deal there but the offense gets the ball back jumps into the defender On the dribble, gives it up. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Entry pass in the paint for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. At the end of the first half, the Utes trail by 13. We have had a whale of a contest so far in the first half, Dick Vitale. What do you have for a highlight of the half for us? The three balls are coming, Brad. My highlight has to be this three-pointer. I expect more of that in the second half. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. 
Arizona is showing tremendous accuracy from the floor in the first half, partner. They're so well coached, man. Working the ball around for the high percentage shot. That's a lot of maturity, man. They really are a mature basketball team. Dick, you start looking at this when you were a coach and you were down this big at halftime. <laughs> what are you thinking? Let's get out of here? I tell you, always special when you see the David and Goliaths. And you know there are a lot of people out there always want to root for David. I think it's important when you're David right now to come out and protect that basketball and get a good start in the first four minutes of half. Way off target. Tries the three. He hits it. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They're rocking right now. My goodness. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Looking for a good shot. The ball goes out of play. Nick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. You betcha. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Puts it up. The Utes have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Trying to draw some contact. Number 54 with a finger roll. The dribble gives it up, trying to draw the foul. He's money with the shot. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He bombs from outside. Knapp was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully, he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. at the hoop. That spin move not successful, Dick. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Mary's at home. <laughs> Gave it up. Got the shot if he wants it. He lets it go. He nails the shot.
Takes the pass in the paint. Fake. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. In and out. And the ball goes out of bounds. He's got a high post flasher. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. With the fake, fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. For the bucket, Utah are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. They're going to call this one a backcourt violation, Dick. You can't make mistakes like that too often, Brad. Kicks off the lazy pass. Got the high pick. He intercepts it. Inside. Number five. That bucket counts, and he'll go to the line. Hey, excellent job there. Join the foul and finish in the hoop. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Cashed it in. That's a 7-0 run. Shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. Picks off the pass. With a quarterback pass. There's the screen up on top. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. They need some buckets and they need them in a hurry. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent and watch like they have. Yeah, that helps. be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. He shoots from outside. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. The student body is rocking tonight. They look like they're having a blast. Perfectly executed. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dick. He's out of control, baby, out of control. For two, Utah are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. They'll work it around the arc, looking for a good shot. Freeman comes up with it. Now they'll push it the other way. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. He shoots from the top of the circle, way off target. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Drains the shot. 
That's a 9-0 run. Nice fake. High post screen. So effective, that screen. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going down with ease, Brad. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He shoots from long range. That was nice. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Up fake. He fouled him. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, down here on the sidelines, I'm close to the favorites bench. What they're saying is, we've been in these situations before. Let's tighten up the defense and pull out a win here. All right, thanks, Aaron. He hits the first shot. Hits two at the charity strike. Wow, the defender walks into a vicious screen. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. As it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The Wildcats are ahead by eight. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. <laughs> Look at that spacing. There's the fake. And the ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you what, thing, that leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. He goes up with a jumper. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That is on fire. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Perfectly executed. The Utes are down by eight. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They work it around the perimeter. There's the trap. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Flashes up high if he wants it. What a reaction. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. They will line them up. Makes it. 
Arizona is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. No good. Jumps in. Strouser makes the finger roll. Are you kidding me? Show me how he did that. Double team now, bad angle. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D, I love it. Here they come now on a turnover. Goes up for two. Jump hook from the low post. The Utes have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's see the replay on that one. Spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Cue the rewind button, boys. Moving it around the perimeter. From the baseline. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. The fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For the bucket. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. The ball goes out of play. On the dribble, gives it up. Now they work it around the perimeter. He wants a three. Off the rim and no good. Too much contact there and knocked him off balance a little. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. The Utes have got to continue to get him the ball. Yeah, he's on fire. There they come with a double team to stop it. Dumps it in. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He shoots from right in the circle. They let him get into a rhythm. Tries for two. Rims out. He launches the bomb. Pickles a twine. Wow, can we get slow mo, please? They work it around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Gave it up. He's got some room. High post screen. From left of the circle. He can't get the hoop to fall. And he scores despite the hack. The Utes have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Good fake. 
for two. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Working it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. They work the perimeter. He launches a three. Utah are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. Dante okay, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Wow, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Goes up for two. Easy one. Intercepted. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Will take the shot. He drains the bucket. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in post games. so important get 15 to 17 feet apart isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper stolen away and the ball goes out of bounds look out he's in the face of the opposition I don't know if all of that is necessary Brad away the pass on the dribble gives it up he looks for the bomb he drains it looking for a good shot that's basic it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. On the outside. Tries to get the D to bite. Tries for two. Way off target. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. The mascot's taking part in this celebration, too. How about that? Hey, the mascot's getting in on the action. He goes to the line for the first time. It's good. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points. It doesn't matter. Look at these fans. They're loving it. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important. Mental toughness. Here's a flash from the high post. For two, and he missed.
It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Goes up for two. The Utes have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. For the bucket, he can't miss. Teddy young man's feeling it, Brad. Up and inside. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Steals the ball. Tries for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. the clock again. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. He goes to the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. Makes the foul shot. They want to talk about it right here, Dick. They got to find a way to chip it with his lead before it's too late. Surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Don't waste a lot of time. Foul right away. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backward play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Makes the second. Dick is 10 points safe at this point. Are you kidding me? 10 scratches wouldn't be safe with a half of his time left. He fires from long range. He's money with a shot. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. He steps up to the line. Gets his first. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Second one, good. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. He takes the shot. He drains it. Yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. He is going to the line. Hits that one. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Nice high post screen. For two, he puts it in with contact and all. Pushes it. He's open if he wants the shot. Well, Dick, this is unbelievable. I didn't expect this. I think they should have won, and they couldn't find a way to get it in the gun Yeah, they really want to get to the line.
Rock Burrow post the W and move on. And they do it because, number one, they're unselfish. They share the rock, baby. They know how to give it up. They always make that one extra pass that leads to that extra good shot. Arizona found themselves in a heck of a battle before pulling away at the end. Well, they may have come in a little overconfident, but they held their composure at the end. That's